Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bringing to the final episode of Solo Leveling. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean, because, yeah, it would literally be a needle in a haystack, so I definitely know. Yeah, and since you can't use any of those, what the fuck can you do? Like, I don't think, once again, I don't think he's going to die. We've already talked about that last week. Oh my god, he would be becoming dizzy. Oh, that's scary. And, and it makes the most sense because, yeah, mm -hmm, we are our biggest, like, critics. And enemies, too. So, yes. But, mm. Babe. Mm. Okay. We're going to talk about um the season two confirmation today as well. Um, specifically more towards the end of the video, because I'd rather talk about that at the end. Uh, and, and then we're going to talk about one other thing. This was something that, like, I tweeted out, like, early, early in the morning when I went on my, I, like, okay. So, obviously, it's still Saturday for me, and it's not, by the time this comes out, it's going to come out tomorrow. I'm going to have this come out on Easter. Um, your girl was not feeling good on Friday, hence why, like, Patreons did not even get their stuff. Um, and then plus I was babysitting a dog and doing some other things. I just felt like crap. Like now I'm okay. But I had tweeted something about this show. And so everybody was like, we weren't really 100% sure if it's going to be this length of a series and such, but we'll get more de into details about that. Cause even I like, I don't even know if it's going to be that long of a series and such. We, we, like, I'm one away. I can't. I think if anybody survived that, like, instant retired. Like, that's a lot of PTSD on somebody, you know? What, well, babe, you got hot. <laughs> you were a little cutie, and then you went hot. <laughs>
basically. Well, yeah, because you were so busy doing the other stuff. I mean, regardless, the thing is, we always know that the system is, like, literally fucking with them. One minute, it's like, oh, hey, let me root for you, and then the next minute, I want to just screw you over just for the fun of it. I'm still busy. <laughs> no, he he just busy. Let's just say that his work is his girlfriend. Oh, well, I, okay, I thought he was going to save that, but no. Nah. Fuck it. No? Now, see, my thing is, is it going to send him back to where he just, what it is? Oh, my God. You literally, he gets, like, this little teeny tiny break, and then it's like, nope, you're going back in. <laughs> oh, my God.
Ain't that a little weird, though? I mean, that was some smart thinking, though. Well, damn. Oh. Oh, that's messed up. Is that why, like, Necromancer? Well, um, um, maybe that could be the reason why he looks like the way he looks for like the, the promo for season two, possibly. I don't know. It does make me want to go back and look at that promo one more time. But see, hold on, if you reject it, there's a possibility you'll never get that back. So why don't you just say, screw it? See, and then them saying, oh, it's a hidden class. And j that could mean anything.
I still have a bad feeling about this, though. There's always pros and cons with saying yes or no. Damn, I'm ready. Okay, let's try something out. I... Yeah, can you go home now? Oh God, we about to have freaking fun. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, okay. I thought it'd be a little harder than that, but all right. Damn. Ah. Uh.
Can we just say, I mean, you know, how this <laughs> this boy has gotten into a man within 12 weeks. Like, I, I don't think he, like, mm, he's not, like, light Yagami drunk with power ass, but he is, like, oh, hey, like, I can do some real good shit with this. Honestly, and I'm not mad at that. Overall, this first season was good. I really enjoyed this a lot. Yes, I can see where a lot of people, when we were initially getting to the first couple of weeks of leading up to this show, starting, like, how everybody was super excited about this and definitely was like, oh my god, like, this could kind of be anime of the season, two point, almost anime of the year and such. And then seeing the, um what I like to call, and I'm, I hate to say disappointment, um, but I will say that, and I think for some people, uh, I think for people who probably have not read the source material for this, they were probably disappointed with how that first episode, second episode went, and then fans of this series who has been with this series since day freaking one or eventually, you know, joining in while it's, like, at its, like, height, his peak, and then continuing on into even greater greatness and seeing, like, oh my god, like, this is just good, can't wait for this to come out and such, and then you see those first two episodes and you're like, hold on. Um, okay, hold up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, are you telling me the monsters are evolving? See, now, what the hell is season two about to be about? Um, but I think the disappointment and the lackluster of fans who were really, really excited about this, this was their most anticipated of this season, and then seeing those first two episodes and just being like, what the absolute F. No matter how many times I've talked to it to other people in the podcast that I did for like the first half or I think when we were almost like very close to being mm, maybe like we weren't we were halfway through this season so very much at least by like seven episode sevens or episodes eights or nines or tens when I did that podcast where I, I was really like, yeah, I, even I was excited for this because I was like, I, as a newcomer and coming into this, I was like, I had no idea how this was going to go. But talking to um, this guy that I've met and him being like, this was his most anticipated. He was truly excited. He He's read the source material. Like he knows every little freaking thing. And then I talked to him like two weeks, by, like two or three weeks later, and he was like, I, I really still enjoyed it, but the one thing is that I hate is that episode one and episode two should have been an hour long instead of being just two separate episodes and then going into episode three. And I initially agree on that too, because I, I think episode one and episode two were a little kind of slow paced to me. But I still enjoyed it. I think if both of them were together, then I probably would have said a lot more about, like, I get why episode one was so placed, leading into episode two being a little more fast-paced and getting into, you know, the real meat of it. Like, it felt like, you know how when you're in... Okay, <laughs> this is going to be a weird way to describe think, think about it as, like, let's say a four-course meal. And let's say episode one and episode two are like the, mm, we're in the appetizer courses. And think of like maybe the worst appetizers or entrees that you've had at a restaurant. And you're really, and let's say that episode three is like the grand thing, like the one, the good behind entree you're waiting for. And you have to, and, I, and I'm not saying we all had to suffer towards these two episodes, but it did feel that way. So, like I said, imagine, like, one of the worst things that you're eating and eating those for two straight episodes before we finally get into the real meat. The real, like, the T-bone steak, the, like, um, 
oh my god like okay what's what's my favorite thing to eat <laughs> besides pizza uh or mac and cheese um like okay okay <laughs> for me that would be the public's like honey hot chicken tenders are like the hot and spicy popcorn chicken like finally getting to that and being like yes or even a public sub and being like yes I'm winning at life. Like I get to have this, or like when you're when you finally get like your favorite boba and such, or your favorite like just whatever, and you're like, yes, everything that I've done has come to this, and I finally get to have this. That's what episode three was and such, and leading into that, like I, I get it and stuff. Now, if I sit and rewatch this, because something tells me I am definitely going to rewatch this for you know science purposes, of course, because <laughs> duh, you know me. Um, but mainly because I do have some questions of my own and such. Uh, I think going into season two, I think what they should do specifically, and, and I'll, I'll even take it from freaking SAO with freaking, um, not ordinal scale, um, season. Altization. There we go. I was like, oh, what the frick is that? <laughs> Remember how, like, the first episode, once again, was, like, an hour long? And then I think, like, what, the last two or three episodes were almost, like, an hour long as well? That's what I kind of th need them to do for the second season. At least for, like, the first two episodes. That, like I said, especially with this, that would be a whole lot better. Now, whatever Jinwoo is about to go into with him going into this necromancer class and having these abilities and now having a whole bunch of uh, a freaking whole shadow army behind him like he can really do some ish in this second season and such uh, what it could be i don't know then also with the situation of i'm guessing the monsters doing what they're doing now and you know regenerating into like that what the freak is that going to entail and such now what my biggest issue is also wondering characters that we've also met who have not died let's say that, um, who did survive initially and who still have a connection to Jinwoo. So the girl, um, and then I think the one other guy who didn't die, I just don't remember his name. I, I would like to see the girl come back in the show because I feel like she still has like something, a story, whatever. But no, let's also talk about the biggest issue about, uh, my little, Mm -hmm. hot take my other little hot take besides episode one two should have been an hour long the blonde girl i don't like how they did her with this this first season i i was really expecting her to be like it, okay if jenna was the star of the show she is supposed to be the second star of the show what i was expecting it almost maybe like every other week or whenever like once in a blue moon was one minute we would have a POV of Jinwoo, the other POV would be with her, until they both came together. Now, the thing is, whatever they all went through on that island, I hope, if it if it's not the first episode, they need to at least initially do an OVA or something to explain, because it's it, it just, okay, this is now a weird reason about why the fuck I'm about to say this. You know how, like, um... I hate to compare it to this, so this is spoilers, or mid-little spoilers to Danganronpa 2. Danganronpa 2 has been out for, like, the longest time, so I mean, duh. You know how, or when, um, years before, a couple of years before V3 came out, you know when the Danganronpa anime came out, and how we were getting, like, the two different series, like, side, uh, side something, side something, I don't remember, it's been, like, a long time since I've watched it. And how we initially got to see, like, the situation of leading up to what happened in Danganronpa 2. That's what I want to see and such. It's just, like, you're, it's, it's kind of misleading to me. Where it's like, oh, we're getting something, but we're not going to know the initiative of it. And it's like, okay, think about freaking, like, Don Machi. Don Machi gave, like, a whole freaking side quest, 12-episode series to freaking, um... What's her face? Which was a good, which was a good thing, even though I haven't still seen it till this day. Um, but it was a good thing to establish her team, her character, and everything else, from what I have been told. So do the same thing with this chick. Literally have a you could have a whole twelve episode series on her, or hell, you could do five to six and literally give me more on her backstory because I feel like we know nothing about her. Like, yes, she is a top tier, like um 
freaking contender. She's good at her age. Like, she is a high-ranked person, but that's all we freaking know about her. And it's like, dude, I, I was expecting to, like, literally learn more about her, but I get it because it is Jin Wu show. He is the one that we're going to be learning a lot of ish, uh, shit about the most. But I'm like, don't make her wasteful because it feels like you're doing that. And no offense, you kind of already did it with the first freaking season. Regardless. So I, I do hope that with everything that maybe myself and so many other people have been saying, whether it's in videos, on Twitter, um, TikTok, I maybe can say Instagram and Tumblr. I don't really know because, you know, when you go on Instagram and Tumblr, it's a completely different world. But the, the criticism that we've had for just this series overall within these 12 weeks, I do hope that this company takes it to heart, even with like everything that they're with the source material that they have. And they'd be like, okay, let's go this way. Let's not go this way. So that's my little thing. Now, the situation on the second season, I, I love it. I think it's a really good idea because this was a truly underrated show. And I think once again, there is a lot more to tell with this story. So like I said, earlier in the day when I woke up, I think around, because I've been sleeping on and off due to me being uh, <laughs> not the greatest. Um, I think I woke up around like eight or nine o'clock and one of my YouTuber friends literally tweeted something with this photo of saying that this show was going to run at least like six seasons. So I, I saved the picture. I tweeted it myself out and being like, excuse me, like freaking out over it. But like being like, are you serious? Like, I, I can't expect it. I'm thinking like this show is going to have like four seasons, maybe. I don't know. It could have more and such. But right now, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at that with like a really grain of salt because has there really also been anything that currently has confirmed that the show is actually getting six whole seasons? Or are we just initially, oh, hey, here's season two and such, and then we're going to have to wait until we get into solo leveling the final season, da 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 aka season six, if we're getting that. Because, I, I mean, we're heading in the good direction where, yes, it is getting a second season, but at the same time, y'all can't pay the way like that already. Like, damn. I mean, t really? Really? Like, I ain't, I'm, I'm not mad at that. You do what you do, and you do what you gotta do, but damn, like, y'all really... <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be a bitch, but, I, and I love it, too. Like, that ass, this is a damn good show, but, like I said, fix my little, fix the criticisms that I have. Fix all your little problems, and then, you know, we'll talk about season three, season four, season five, season six. But regardless, this was a damn good show. I mean, everything about it was good. The cast of this sub was freaking superior. I mean, and, and okay, I'm gonna say this too. Like, even though I have not watched the dub of this, all I know is Alex Lee, he's done a damn good job of this. And besides, as someone who was playing um, P3, duh, like, come on now, of course she's doing a damn good job, so yeah, claps to him, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season one of Solo Leveling, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out, also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Monster Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all, whenever the heck season two is going to come out, something tells me, like, it might come out later on in the year, maybe, but I'm expecting it more at least a year or two from now, um, and then, of course, you'll see me officially later on this week, um, I don't know what specifically, what day, um, for, of course, spring anime, because I still got to make thumbnails, and that's the goal for tomorrow, even though I might be getting my hair done after I'm done doing this, but yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.